a letter to god a letter to god is a very simple chapter and in fact it's fun to read especially the ending where you least expect things to pan out the way they do this chapter has two main characters one is lenko who's a farmer and the postmaster who is a kind and gentle soul and who's trying to help the farmer lenko so let's understand the whole story the story begins with the introduction of lenko lenko was a farmer he lived on top of a small uh, in fact a low hill and he had a field which could be viewed from the top of the hill uh, he was waiting for rain so that he could have a good harvest and he even told his wife that it was going to rain soon because he was a farmer who had a very good knowledge about the whole uh, farming uh, cycle as well as the rain because that is exactly what he needed for a good harvest and when they were having dinner it started to rain lenko was so happy it meant a lot of profit for him he even states that the big drops were like 2 cent pieces and uh, the little ones were like 5 cents that means those drops are going to give him so much profit but very soon the scenario changed and there was a hail storm it destroyed the whole field he was so upset when he saw the damage that uh, and the amount uh, the extent to which the damage had been caused really hit him he even told his sons if the field had been attacked by locals the damage would have been less he was very upset as he knew that they'll have to face tough time and there would be no crop so obviously there was no money now lenko turned his hope towards god it has so many sermons in church and he remembered that they were always telling the same thing that since god is there no one has ever died of hunger this gave him the hope that god might save him he knew how to write so he wrote a letter to god in which he asked for 100 pesos to sow his field and to tide over that time which is in between you know till the time the crops harvest and decided to mail it himself In fact he addressed this letter to God himself. This letter was found by a post office employee who found it quite hilarious that a letter addressed to God had come in their post. He showed it to the postmaster. Initially the postmaster found it pretty funny. He said what the hell is this? Why would anybody write a letter to God and where are we going to deliver it? But then he realized that you know in fact he was impressed by the simplicity of the man and he couldn't help praising the man for his faith in God he said my god what level of faith he has in God like we all pray to God but we do not cross that line where when we would start writing a letter to God and actually ask for something he felt so moved that uh, in order to keep the faith of the man he decided to arrange the required 100 pesos himself He took aid from his employees, his friends, and in fact gave us part of his own salary also. He tried his best but couldn't arrange the complete amount. Though he got around seventy pesos, but uh, then obviously there was no way he could pull any further. So he decided he would uh, give that much only. And uh, when that guy will come, he'll make sure that it's uh, given to him in a letter. The following Sunday, when Lenko came to collect his letter. the postman himself gave him the letter and he was in fact very content and satisfied it really seemed nice you know it done a good deed and after doing something really generous and nice is feeling too good and lenko was not at all moved to find the letter because he had so much faith in god he knew god would reply back there was no reason in his mind to doubt the fact that god would reply back or not he just took his letter confidently took the money out started counting it and when he counted he realized there were only 70 pesos whereas he had asked for 100 pesos now he was pretty angry he thought this is not possible god could not have made a mistake it's not that god ran out of money and gave me less and he could not have made a counting mistake he immediately concluded that the post office employees were crook as god could not have given him less It's not possible, you know. He asked for hundred pesos. God could not have given seventy. That was not something he could contemplate. So he wrote a second letter to God to tell him that the money he received was less. 
and how he tied over the time that he needed to he told god not to send money through this uh, post office employees they were all cheaters they were taking up his money and this ends our chapter as a good deed uh, which the postmaster had done didn't turn him the satisfaction of being called a good person or in fact getting any kind of credit or uh, feeling the satisfaction of seeing a farmer happy that also did not come about rather he was labeled to be a cheater and a crook in case you have any doubts please feel free to ask your questions in the comment section thank you i hope you enjoyed this chapter see you soon